Hello everybody, welcome back. Got another ride here for you. Another ride, another day. Oh man. It's windy today, but it's warm. That's the difference. It's windy, but warm. All right. All right, making sure all my gear's on. Yeah, it's a... Uh, Man, it was a little cold yesterday, but today it's going to be like upper 60s, almost to holy 70s. Man, Whew. I feel like I'm I'm hitting a I'm a early spring. I'm in early spring here. I, it feels that way. Oh man. Anyways, just got my uh, sweatpants on. Breathable long sleeve t-shirt, gloves. I definitely wear gloves all the time. I'm wearing the these gloves right here. Windy today. It is. It is very windy. Eyes are watering from the wind, but not as bad if it was cold. If it was cold, it'd be like. bad but it was it's a it's a warmer wind in my face eyes are still watering but I'm gonna take the opportunity to ride the bike today because uh, man days like this you gotta ride the bike especially during the winter I am wearing my neoprene boots because it, it it's still wet out here the soil is still uh, very muddy, so I don't know if I'm gonna go off road. But when it, when conditions get like this during the winter time, I, I I just rather wear my my neoprene boots, my Magellan boots, just in case I do go somewhere and it's muddy and slippery. I'm just gonna go to the clubhouse. I didn't bring my hot chocolate or anything. I'm just going, I'm, I'm just riding today because it's such a nice, beautiful day. In days like this, you gotta ride. You gotta ride. Because I think it's going to, today's a warmer day. Tomorrow will get cold again, or cold for me. And then it'll start raining again. So I'm gonna get, gonna get rain. I always say it. I always say to myself, "Yeah, as soon as it gets cooler, which is normally fall and winter, I'm gonna go hit the dirt trail. I wanna hit the back of the levees." But the problem is, the problem is, waiting for the cars to go by. is it rains and it's cooler so the ground gets saturated and stays like muddy and if you know anything about riding fat tire electric bikes they're heavier and you get on a mud it'll, it'll slip right underneath you um, having fat tires definitely help but it doesn't mean that you could just ride anywhere. No, no, no. And if you don't realize that, you'll learn the hard way. You'll, you'll fall. You'll definitely fall. Oh. It feels like very early spring, but I know it's not gonna be that way. There's water in the creek. So, the ground's still saturated with water. It just doesn't uh, dry up as fast as, as it does during the summer. So I waited till like, uh, 
definitely after 12 o'clock. I think it's around maybe even 1 o'clock. I looked at the weather today, the forecast for the weather. It's warmest from, from 1 to 3 o'clock. So that's what I'm going to ride the bike. But, you know, do yourself a favor. Don't fight the weather. Don't fight Mother Nature. Don't fight... Don't go upstream, all right, and fight, uh, fight natural forces. Work with the natural forces. Go during when it's the best optimal time. Unless you're, uh, I guess unless you're working, you have to go in the morning, you have to go in the morning. You have to leave at night, you have to leave at night, or whatever, vice versa. But if you're riding around for recreational purposes, which that's all I do for the most part. Go during, <laughs> I try to go during the most optimal time. Yeah, I, I go during the most optimal time, which is right about now or whenever it's the warmest. Sometimes I'll leave like 11, sometimes I'll leave at 12, but today, I left at 1 because it was going to be the warmest time. If I left a little earlier, it still would have been warm, but it's nicer when it's warmer than being cold. You don't have to wear all the gear. I was thinking about going to uh, Mario Land today, but uh, it's still too wet. Uh, I think tomorrow it's going to be tomorrow's going to be cooler. So if it's uh, and it'll be sunny, so I'm give another day to drive and I'll wear my gear and I'll take my machete. I always I have my machete now, but I'm going to take my machete and then uh, we'll hack our way through Mario Land again. Man, this is perfect. I wish, I wish uh, Houston would be like this year round. I wish the weather would be like this year round. Low humidity, 70s, upper 60s. That's really nice, but you know what? We all know that's not, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. So, I'm in January. January is the coldest month of the year for where I live. And so from this point on, it's probably going to get warmer. And spring is about to happen. Spring is not my best time of the year because of the pollen, the pollination. You get a lot of allergies. Even today, I, I still had to take allergy medicine because the dust, the pollution in the air is uh, moderate. So I still get a runny nose. I'll still may even get a little headache but I'll, I'll take I taken some allergy medication this morning because I knew I was going to be out going out so yeah just headed to the clubhouse I'm headed to the clubhouse uh, just gonna go there I didn't bring any hot chocolate I don't plan on making any pit stops or uh, long breaks I'll go there that's that's just my halfway point my turnaround point and it's a nice place to go to I mean if, if I was gonna you know if I'm gonna ride my bike you think I want to go to some ghetto and ride around in the ghetto no you want to go right around the nicest part of your neighborhood or, or a place that you enjoy riding and uh, yeah riding uh, to the clubhouse is enjoyable Oh, the concrete over here, concrete truck, what's going on? Someone's doing a driveway or something? Yeah, it looks like they're doing a backyard patio, concrete patio. Looks like, I don't know for sure. Ooh. I see somebody running. I don't like going underneath the tunnel or down there. Let's see what this guy does. Oh, he's getting off the sidewalk. All right. All right. Oh, it's 
feels good to get outside. I don't know if the coronavirus pandemic is getting worse or better. Supposedly it's a huge spike with uh, with the mutated virus and there's starting to be other mutated viruses. Won't know until the summer. We'll see how it pans out. But the numbers, the numbers aren't looking good. If you believe in the numbers. Oh, a lot of wind right here. A lot of wind. All right. You, yee. People golfing today. No trains today. No trains. All right. Man, I've been doing that inversion table for my lower back pain. My lower back pain is virtually gone. Now I'm kind of getting, uh, I don't know, maybe because of I'm on the inversion table, I'm stretching out more. My back is straightening out. Now I'm kind of getting a little soreness around uh, my upper back, kind of right behind my shoulder blades. Let's see what I got here. What's today? What's on the menu today? Uh, okay, I'm going to take the road. I think it's, the light's about to turn red, so take the road. That's what's on the menu today, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, yeah, doing the inversion table, man, whoa, it's not that expensive. I, I didn't get a, a super duper expensive one, but I got one that's pretty decent. And uh, it helps. I also do crunches. Uh, I work out my front abs, my side abs. Um, I work out my arms while I'm upside down. I just do like simple exercises to work out the arms and my shoulders, which I think it really works out my back. I'm not sure how it works. It's like, it's like, uh, you know, people are right side up when they do exercises, but you hardly ever do any exercises where you're upside down. And I'm, I have different muscles now, you know, I'm feeling different muscles working when I'm upside down on the inversion table. I'm not even at, I'm not even 90 degrees, I'm at most 40 degrees. And I'm just doing simple exercises, moving my arms around, uh, mainly because my shoulder, my shoulder hurts, not a lot, but after I broke my hand, riding, riding the, whoa, a lot of wind. All right, whew, a lot of wind right here, a lot of headwind. It is a little windy today. 15 to 20 mile an hour gust. Anyways, when I broke my hand, oh, yellow light, I got a pedal. I can make it, I made it. All right, so when I broke my hand, I went over the handlebars. And I hit it to the railing and forced me to turn my wheel, the handlebar, you know, this way. And so as I looked over, it, I guess it's just natural instinct, I fell over like my right hand forward. I broke my right hand for the, for the most part. I broke it from the handlebar getting hitting the rail. That's, I think that's where I broke my hand. I didn't get it from falling down, or maybe I did. But when I fell down, I had a, I had a pressure, or when I fell forward, my shoulder, I think I have a, I'm not sure, I can't confirm or deny, let's see what this car does, is it going to let me go, alright, let me go, thank you, um, I wasn't sure uh, if I have a, a torn rotator cuff, but uh, every time I lift my arm up this way, it hurt. It hurt. Uh, that was right after the surgery, after the all the painkillers wore off. 
I started feeling my shoulder hurting because I would lift up the grocery bag out of the car and I would do this and uh, it would hurt. It's a lot better, but it's still not 100%. And, you know, when it comes to like rotator cuff, ligaments, tendons, they just take longer to heal. Now, obviously I can move my shoulder. I'm not totally incapacitated anyway. It's just that my, my movement has has been limited slightly and it's from time to time discomforting when I move it in certain positions so but I'm using the inversion table for that because I feel like I have to pull my arm out I don't know how to say it I'm getting relief from being upside down and my arm is just you know dangling dangling down and it's giving me that relief right about, right about, you know, right about here. It's giving me that relief as I hang upside down. And plus gives me an opportunity while I'm upside down to move my arm around, exercise. And uh, so, loving the inversion table. Anyway, it's my quick pit stop here. I'm probably going to just stop, do another video here. Not gonna stay too long. I don't have any hot chocolate. We'll see how things go. Depends on the battery too. All right, everyone. Quick pit stop. I mean, I may not even get off the bike. Got the TVs working. All right. Bye, everybody.